What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Dale Fix. we're playing in Spain, we are in a war with uh, with England or Great Britain, we're going to take the colonies, we're going to take all of their small islands, unless I missed one, negative three, we can actually do that, we still have taking war score, right? I think that should get all of their colonies out of the way, they won't like it, but that's their problem, not mine, uh, so that's going to be the deal. I don't care about their money. I don't care about anything else. We're going to take that. The overextension is going to be extre extremely minimalistic. Um, that is a bit more, but... It is what it is, right? Ah, okay, let's go. Let's go. And I had my coffee. This is still climbing. So, a few months time. That will go. Leave it be. Uh, we'll wait until they get um, very unhappy being in this war. Actually, never mind. The end of the war is there. Uh, we take all of their colonies. Don't mind this list. It will go away in a second. I hope so, at least. Come on there. Um, okay, that is now a colony. What is being... Why do I need the core here? High Liberty Desire from the Spanish Louisiana. How high? Yeah, that's nothing, dude. That is nothing. Spanish Louisiana. Can I do anything here? We need to wait. He needs to core everything up. That's going to be a while. Let us... Improve relations, then. He won't break away, he don't dare. There's a truce also, so that ain't happening. So, what's going on with this? That's a lot. Oh, okay, we need to give this... We need to core everything up. We need to core everything up. That's going to be a while. Uh, this market has entered into a military coalition. Oh no, what should we do? Let's see. There is a royal marriage from Byzantium. So my troops are over there. Let's see. We still have some claims on Milan. I want to vassalize him again if possible. Yeah, that ain't possible. Let's wait until we got a diplomat. Uh, we'll bring back the one in... I think like Liege. I do want to start annexing... Wolfsgard and give it towards Prussia. I could give land right now, but I don't think he is going to enjoy that. Let's go to Prussia. Yeah, we can't do that. I could, I could enforce religion. Maybe. See no point in that, actually. Ah, I hate it. I hate it. They do this all the damn time. I would love to be the cure controller here. Now, we can break our truce. Uh, with Flanders. If possible. Well, we, it is possible. It's just expensive. Because we need that to get the PU of Austria. We'll take them completely, of course. That also gives us... Claims on the other region over there. So the Spanish Armada invading England. And that would... Almost do it. What's up with this again? We need a level 3 trade in there. Get that going. What do we get from that? Ah, that's fine. Let's take it. What do we need? Yeah, we need wars in this era region quite badly. Russia. Oh, shit. Out of everyone? Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Russia is like a beast. Oh, Russia got death. That is... Ah, 
Oh, he's like, bite me. Oh, that is annoying. Yeah, this is the final stretch shot of this. Ming is very into this fight. Uh, Holland is there as well. We can offer him an alliance. We're going to offer him an alliance. Yeah, we can actually go with up to plus 5. We'll offer him an alliance if we attack uh, Russia. And I think we should. I think we should definitely get our troops in here and start attacking Russia. Um, I don't fear the coalition currently. How strange that may be, I don't fear them. Uh, we do have some Normandy separatists that are going to be... Breaking, we could harsh treat them or just provoke them. Provoke them and deal with them. Uh, this this group is completely wrong. What's going on with you? Use that template. What are you from? Where are you from? You go stand over there because we could actually use you for another army then. Okay, we got 70 over there. So he's lacking some troops who are probably in this region. Let's go put you over there then. Use the ships. And this guy. Not this guy, the other one. Go there. Uh, we'll get that Spanish uh, thing going. Lithuania is... Not in the coalition, of course. Can I get people out? We could potentially now threaten war, but we have a truce with the majority of them. Can I threaten war you? No. Who else? Strasbourg, perhaps. Nope. Burgundy. No, the relative strength of the coalition is not that strong, dude. Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's take a look. That's only those guys. Maybe a Milan. Oh no, they're like, bite me. Well, it's a shame. If, if we could just piece them out like that, you know. Can't send him that because he is one province. Maybe Hungary. No. Let's take a look here. How about Brandenburg? No, he would definitely lose face. Such a damn shame. Okay, nobody is willing to accept. He is going to be more more happy and happy every day. So that's good news. Brandenburg would go in.
we can go for a reconquest and of course try to take these uh, colonies as well <sighs> I would give you land but you're already in a war we need to wait until he's out of that other war then he would be willing to join and we have to go because he will definitely get some troops in there um, we'll try to weaken Russia in the coming few Version successful, let's continue that. Include subjects. Because he is not looking good. Come on, Manchu, get out of this fight. Why would you not be willing to join? How much favors do I have? Six. So we are, we're getting one per year. And we just got another one. Come on, man, you get out of this. I think we uh, we should commit. I think we should commit and try to devastate the Russians. And that will be very difficult. They have a l very, very strong... But yeah, let's... let's uh... If we rival them now, they will join the coalition. We'll rival them and we should integrate Wolgast shortly. Give that to Prussia. And we'll give everything back to Poland. He might even be able to form the Commonwealth. Okay, let's see if we can now deal with this. Can we just do this? Come on, dude. That should be enough. The military advisor. Uh, what do we want? Uh, well, out of everything, let's just go. I can't upgrade him. Uh... It's expensive, but we will. Let's go for it. We'll wait for a month. And see who else we can take. Uh, we got two more diplomats. Let's take a look. Uh, well, discipline, land force limit modifier, land maintenance modifier. I don't want my force limit to go up even higher. Go to discipline. Go to four. And we can take military over here. Combat would be increased. We'll get new infantry. Uh, we would be on 26. Russia is on 25 as well. If... That is a tiny, tiny bit of a, of a good thing. Uh, let's group you guys up. I need more manpower. My professionalism is a joke. Okay, what we can do is drop these troops. Okay, group you guys up. Drop these troops somewhere nearby so we can occupy those Russian... <gasps> Are you fighting Russia, dude? Oh, you are. Interesting. Who are you fighting? The war is still going. How is the... Um Oh wow, yeah, they're still doing good. They're still doing good. They're still doing very good. Come on, Manchu, let's speed up here. Uh, we could potentially just drill a tiny bit. There's a revolt from the uh, Normans. Uh, let's go deal with that. 
We knew it was going to happen. Oh, I hate that. I hate the 10 years of separatism. Actually, 63. So 64 there. No, that's way better to go there. Oh, damn. I didn't check where the revolt was. Let's take a look. Should be somewhere if there's siege and stuff. It's probably over here in Louisiana. And they have enough troops to deal with that. So this is all... They didn't join the war, right? So, 40, 99,000 troops. Oof. Greek. Seriously, Greek. Spanish Louisiana, tell me. Would you be so kind to deal with your damn rebel problems? Yeah, it's all in here. I have to look at that. But I don't want to increase autonomy. Russia scares me, guys. I think uh, we should. Let's go transfer those troops over. Go here and you lot go there. We'll start transferring me into Poland. Okay, you are annexable. Integrate him. So, we don't have to improve relations anymore with him. Let me think about this. Can't spend. Nobility loses influence. Nobody cares about that anyway. Uh, influential trading family. Trade power plus 10 in Brazil. Or get a level 2 trade efficiency guy. Let's get the uh, trade influence. Uh, we'll go take those two. Oh, you, you are carrying troops, right? Yeah, they are. There you go. Those revolts are all over here. Damn, they're revolting like crazy. If we declare war, they, the others will help with those rebels. So that's good. No. Go there. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, Louisiana. Uh, we'll save up the money for now. Can we take troops? How many troops can I actually get? Yeah, we'll save up rather than create a new army right away. Because knowing myself, I'm very keen at... Losing. Are you... Are you... You're losing this fight. Interesting. Interesting. I like it. The Romanovs. Well, you know what happened to them. They want peace out. You hate Russia as well. No, you don't. That's a shame. Do you hate Russia? The ally of my ally could be my friend, I guess. Opinion of Spain. Rivaled. Trust. Yeah, I still need to attack him. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, the Frederick Infantry. And I think... Carabines and Royal Mortars. Whatever. Ah, uh, the Russian War... Scary as hell. 
not looking forward to this fight. I'll be very honest here. It's going to take me a long time. I'm going to do go very slowly there. We need to attack where we can attack. They have a lot of manpower. That's why I'm saving up money so we can actually take a good amount of, well, uh, of mercenaries. Because we're very much outnumbered. And I want this guy in as well. They have a lot of... No, actually, no. We have more cavern than they do. Oh, Byzantium. What are you doing, mate? Anyone I need to pay up that with? Let's say Morocco. No. Where's Byzantium? He's making money. Oh, dear. Why? Oh, you are finally making money. We can grant you um, Crete. And I'll grant you Cyprus as well. We got Egypt anyways, right? Maybe we can give him that as well. He would make more money. More money, more troops. Byzantium we do need in this fight. And eventually we just integrate him, right? So I will grant you... This region. And he can grow fat and strong. Hopefully, let's see. Oh, love it, love it. He can start building up troops, he can defend himself now, build up a navy, Byzantium growing strong, maybe declare war on this guy first, grow him some more, this would get in Ming. Are so damn strong. It's a lot of trips there. The Mamluks don't actually care. And these guys can finish their war. And we're very nearby to actually send them over. So who are these allies again? Let's take a look. Uh, the Orans? Where is that? That's 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 useless. Can we threaten war? No. You are also allied to these guys. So we can actually piece those guys out. Ming is scary. Ming is scary. Uh, but... A lot of Kev. Wow, those are stacks. They are doom stacking. Like crazy. I think this alliance is great. I think we should go for this war first. A lot less troops. And we'll go for... I don't like the 100% aggressive. Let's go imperialism. Let's confirm this. It's done. No way back. So, you go here. You go... Wait over there. And Byzantium just making money is insane. I like that. I really do like that. These guys were going to be dropping... Well, just let them go over there. We'll send the ship somewhere else though. Uh, because they are now sailing over here. We can just drop them there. Military leader left us, of course. And it's the... I think he died. I think he died. 
Okay, that's horrible. We can't drop him in there then. So there's some troops. There's mine. We'll go here right away. And they're very low on morale. And we'll give everything to Byzantium. Now it's making money. I should have done that a long ass time ago. Uh, just go back in there. We'll, we can blockade all of this. Uh, we need a general for you. And now you can go back into your ships. Get out there. Spare no expenses. I want you to go there. And you're going to wait in there. And we'll drop you in here somewhere as well. And this is all going to be core territory soon. We might lose some colonies over there, but that's not a huge problem. So that's already on 14%. Here you go. Stand in there. Let's... Oh, let's not bomb the microphone there. <sighs> so much money. Let's see. I think 6 is as low as I want to go. Didn't check this. Ah, oh, we're fine. Hmm. Ooh, good produced. Interesting. Sailors. We can upgrade some of the forts, perhaps. Go for conscription. Get more cash out of this. No. We'll invest in our trade companies a tiny bit. Oh, speaking of those. Uh, I, I hate this, actually, but we need to. We need to zoom in and we need to go, like, take all of that. Take all of this. No, no. Take that. Ah, uh, we got some land in this region. Uh, because we took uh, parts from the English. Uh, the majority was in here though. I think maybe here in with Hawaii. There you go. Nippon. No, no, no. Am I missing any? No, it doesn't look like it. I think that is the majority of it. Let's invest. Now you can see we actually have some new territory to build these. And I think it's these islands, that island, that island, definitely the tip over here. And no, no. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, where is it? I think it's over there. They already have it. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, that one's done. I take that. And try to take the others the way we did. And now we're out of cash. Uh, we'll make money with that. Okay, let's go back to our war and slowly continue fighting this one. Okay, you transport those troops. Right over there. Excellent. Colonies become self-sufficient. Didn't even know I had them, but it's great. Uh, there we go. More stuff. Fine, do it. And Byzantium can now just finally, finally get those trips. Absolutely great. Let's get this as well. Uh, we can go take another 
military idea because that is what I wanted. Going with offensive, I was thinking about quantity uh, because the land force limit will go up but also the diplomatic reputation will be frayed. We can either pick manpower recovery, but also the land maintenance modifier. Morale of armies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I want qual uh, quantity instead of quality. Uh, however, quality would give us morale of armies, siege ability. Mm, also very nice. The morale of armies is great. Uh, looking in the ledger. Let us go with war enemies. I want to see the morale. Holy shit. It's seven. Uh, we're about to discipline this Ming. So if we can go for the morale of armies over the discipline, then that would be great. Let's see. Quantity did what? Morale of armies with religious plus 10 and quality gives us morale of armies plus 5. Let's go with quantity. I will build up that. Uh, how is all of this going? Plus 4. I want to increase that to plus 5. These guys are not that expensive actually. So just 2,000. What is 2,000 these days? It's nothing. Can I go here? Yes, I actually can. The Mamlocks gave territory away. That's good. Good news. Let's make sure we uh, siege everything down. Especially the forts. And uh, we currently are still gaining men instead of losing them. I will pull back if we see something um, coming our way that I don't appreciate. Rebels have crossed the borders. That I can actually not allow. Let's go send these guys over there. There is Russian troops here as well. But of course we're not fighting the Russians. I have to remind myself to that. And Ming is most likely getting over here. Manchu, your war is still ongoing. And... I can hope, I just hope they win it. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch with me, stick around. If you are watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.